miniature schnauzer male, not, st not neutered, 12 years old. About two years ago, he passed blood in the urine and uh, the vet gave a cause of antibiotics and everything was okay. There was no urine test or x-rays and as the dog was considered old, the vet says that uh, better not to operate. Now, two years later, the dog came on a Good Friday. It was yesterday with difficulty in peeing. And uh, I asked for an x-ray to be done. Now, the x-ray shows that uh, there were stones in the ospinis and two more behind. Now, the bladder seems there's some small stones as well. From the x-ray, as you can see, on the upper part. So, the owner agreed to the, to the surgery to remove the stones, otherwise the dog can't pee again. He was catheterized yesterday by Dr. Daniel, and uh, he could pee, but the uh, owner came and the catheter dropped out. So this morning, the parents of the owner came and discovered that the dog tried to pee. The dog lifted up, lift up his leg, but wouldn't pee. So they agreed to do the x-ray and an emergency surgery to be done by this afternoon, Saturday. Dr. Daniel, now this is the x-ray of the dog before. Uh, I asked for air contrast. This is the one with air contrast. 20 ml of air was pumped into the bladder after draining the urine, the reddish brown urine out and also pushing back the stone in the ospinis into the bladder. As you can see, with this air contrast, you can clearly see the wall of the bladder as well as the two stones, bigger stones, now flush into the bladder. The ospinis doesn't have any stones now, has the wet string sheet back into the bladder and now it appears here. As you can see, now the water bladder is thickened as well, inflamed. Now if you compare to the previous x-ray, The stone size, sizes were similar to one you saw in the bladder, but in this case, it's inside the ospinis, and that's why the dog couldn't pee, or it could pee but keep on dripping urine. When the dog came yesterday morning, I could smell urine all over the dog, and it was a sign of urinary tract infection. Now the dog also had a swollen bladder about the size of half a mango. So the diagnosis was urine urethral obstruction. Dr. Daniel yesterday passed a catheter and managed to unblock the bladder. But the catheter dropped off when the owner came to visit the dog. So today, this is today, the stones were passed back into the bladder and uh, they are not that big, they are about 3mm uh, across into 2mm but they did obstruct the ospinis whose diameter is probably 3mm and uh, the third x-ray 
which is the ventral dorsal. You can see the catheter inside the bladder and it's not very obvious but uh, you can see the stone the stone is here where my uh, pointer is inside the bladder. They are not very big, 2 mm, 3 mm to 4 mm and, but they cause obstruction of the urethra. Now can they be dissolved by uh, dietary management? Mm, I doubt it. But uh, Dr. Dana believes it can be done. Much depends on the owner and what type of stones they are. So if the dog it has, has access to the outdoors, like the Bichon, we had a case similarly, then uh, you can do that. But if the dog is indoors, then uh, it's difficult for him to, to go to the toilet. And then medical management, you need to constantly monitor and uh, make sure the dog drinks water and pass out. And also take the diet, stone SD diet and uh, in this case the owner has no time so the best is just remove it and make sure that the stone is analyzed and preventive measures are in place after all this is a 12 year old schnauzer and uh, anesthetic risk is definitely very high But if about two years ago the vet had taken an x-ray or do a urine test, at least the composition of the stones could be known and maybe dissolved at that time. April 19 to 14, Saturday, 2.45 p.m. the dog is being operated and about seven small stones have been taken out. The two big ones are about what you see in the x-ray, about uh, three millimeter to four millimeter across. An interesting case for pelvis. The dog was given uh, IV drip and antibiotics before the surgery today. He came in half dead, unable to stand. And that was the reason the owner brought him in on a Good Friday. So the diagnosis is urethrolithiasis in a miniature snouted male, entire 12 years old, Singapore top air vets.